welcome to week one, workout three. Let's get to work. All right, so we're just gonna take a warm up. So if you guys wanna start marching on the spot, and just think about gradually increasing the range of movement. So from there, start to use your arms as well. Take your feet up off the floor, just a few inches. Nicely done. And then we're just looking, move your feet up two, three inches from the floor. Small movements just to get a heart rate up and get those joints mobilized. Good stuff. Let's start to bring it a little bit higher, six inches higher. Good work. Okay, from there, just bring your feet down again and we're just gonna bounce from side to side. So, you can hop, you can bounce, whatever you wanna do. We just need that sideways movement so you're using the muscle groups and you're getting your heart rate up. Good stuff. And then just bring it back to a jog on the spot. Again, a little bit higher, pick up where you left off last time. Stuff. Keep the jog, but then take your heels up to your backside. So heel flicks, gradually start to increase the range. Take it to where it's comfortable and don't go too far. Good work, another 10 seconds here. Good stuff, ease it back down. Keep the run going though, and then we're looking to start bringing the knees up in front. So think of where you got to last time, and then start to go higher than before. Another six inches. So if your heart rate start to come up, Legs are feeling a little looser now. Good stuff. Another few seconds there, well done. And again, just ease it down again. We're gonna try a step curl this time. So hamstring curls, heel to your butt, go to one side, doesn't matter which. Sit, good. And then as you feel yourself get warmer, go a little bit wider, go a little bit lower now. Add a little dip into it if you can, good stuff. work and again bring it back to a jog on the spot again now this time we're going to take your knees up to a high knee run so a quick 10 seconds there feel your heart rate coming up good a few seconds more and then keep the run going and now flick your heels right the way up to your butt awesome good job should be feeling warm now Heart rate should be up, slightly breathless, and we should be ready to go. Ease it down, and we'll get straight into the exercises. Good work. Right, so first exercise, squat taps. You can need a little bit of space. Take your feet height wider than hip width. And we're gonna do 30 seconds on. So dip down, punch across, and let your legs do the work. Right, 30 seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. Good, good job. Don't be afraid to go deep with these, and keep your feet wider as well. Think hip width and a half. Good stuff. So I keep your chest up. Good work. Another 10 seconds. So starting to work a little bit deeper. And we're starting to increase the pace just a little bit. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice work. Shake it off. Move yourself around. Good stuff, another 20 seconds off. Should be feeling warmer now anyway. So stepping side taps. If you guys remember that, it was the step in front into the squat. And then step, squat again. Higher impact, jump over the top and sit back into it. So you can step in front, step behind, doesn't matter. Yeah. Ready? Let's go. That's it, good. So again, keep your chest up when you're doing it. Weight should still be in your heels. Halfway, 15 seconds. So keep the weight in the heels. Keep your chest up, guys. Good. Five seconds left. Three, two, one, and recover. 30 seconds off. Good work. Reverse taps. So it was the step back. You could just be there. Keep the front leg bent, and just from there to there or if you wanted more, go deeper and pull the knee through and use your arms. As soon as you're ready, let's go. Good, so chest up with this, so lift your chest. So you need to put all the weight into the back leg. You see you guys are collapsing forward slightly. Chest up, 
Yeah, there we go. Much better. Good stuff. So remember, lower, lower impact if you want, you just tap the floor behind your front heel. Up to you what you want to do. Good stuff. Another five seconds. Three, two, one, time. Good work. Walk it off. We'll do the other leg next time round. Moving on to push-ups. So I may want a nap, mat, don't have to. Options, knees, toes, more weight, less weight. Completely up to you guys. When you guys are ready, let's get to it in 30 seconds. So if one of you could show a knees option, that would be amazing. Good stuff. So you could drop between the options. If it gets too much and you're on your toes, cut it back, go on your knees for a little bit. Try and breathe out as you push up as well, guys. That'll keep your core tight and take the pressure off your backs. Good stuff, it's a long 30 seconds. 10 seconds left. <laughs> Good work, guys, keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one, time, relax. Good stuff, 30 seconds off. Just keep it moving, process some of the acids. Oh, 30 seconds recovery, we are on to knees, toes, plank. So the options, you can hold the plank or you guys go from one knee to foot to the other knee to the other foot. So walking up and down with your legs. So pick an option. Assume the position when you're ready. And let's go 30 seconds, starts now, good. Lovely, so we're just gonna hold it there. If one of you wanted to do the option and show the knees to toes, that would be amazing. So Callum's gonna go knee, knee, toe, toe. Good stuff. This is gonna challenge your core a little bit more. Some people will find this harder than a plank, the other people won't. Five. Done. Good work. Take a breather, get some fluids on. So that's the first rotation done. 15 seconds off, so we're back to the first exercise. Squat taps again. Yeah, with a twist. So another five seconds, should be warmer now. Good work. Three, two, one, let's go again. So again, squat, the twist. So you can go lower now. You can start to take the speed up a little bit as well. Good job. Try and keep the weight in your heels when you do it. Excellent. Good work, guys. Halfway. Looking good. Remember, if it gets too much, you can cut this back. You can go shallower. Completely up to you. Last few seconds. And recover. <laughs> Take a sec. So the stepping side squats. So if you want to step behind, step behind, step in front. Low impact or with a small jump in between. So I'm stepping behind and down. Ready? As soon as you are, let's go 30 seconds. Good. So if you want to make it harder, you can actually get some air in between. Yeah, there you go, good. As you get tired, you're gonna feel yourself start to collapse forwards a little bit. Keep your chest up. Weight in the heels, good work. And remember, you can cut this back anytime you need as well. You can take a step. You don't have to go as deep. Five seconds. And time. Reverse taps. So hopefully you remember which leg you did last time. If not, we'll find out in the first 10 seconds. <laughs> Good work, five seconds. Remember, keep the weight in the front heel as well. Three, two, one, let's go. So remember, use the arms, keep the chest lifted as well. So the weight is on the back leg. Good, yes. Awesome. And remember, you can drop back anytime you need to as well. You can move back and do a tap rather than pull the knee through. Don't need to go too hard too early. 
10 seconds. Good stuff. Keep the chest up. Let the leg do the work, not the front one. Yes. Three, two, one. Time, relax. Take a sec, shake it off. 30 seconds off, we're back onto floor push-ups. Loads of time. Good work, another 10 seconds. So remember, go with any option you want to. Knees or toes. Soon as you're ready, let's go. 30 seconds. Don't feel you have to do it on your toes all the way through. We've got 20 seconds left, guys. Keep it going. Any option you can, just try and complete the 30 seconds. Remember, breathe out as you push up as well. Keep that core tight. Good work. Five seconds. And time. 30 seconds off, shake it off, take a sec. Final exercise. So either a plank hold or knees to toes. Or you can mix the two up, up to you guys. 10 seconds. Right, as soon as you're ready, let's get to it. So, core tight. Focus on that core, try and pull your belly button in. Everything tight, it's gonna be the hardest one. Can drop down, go knees and toes if you want to, it's completely up to you guys. Lock it in tight. Good, keep going. Last five seconds, keep it up, good work. Pull that core in tight, time. Relax. Good job. Done. It's twice through. Good work. Okay, if we just take a cool down, guys. From there, if you just lie flat down on your backs, take a few minutes. From there, take one leg, and we're just gonna reach through, keep a slight bend in it, and we're gonna stretch your hamstrings out. So the key to this, if you keep it straight, you're gonna feel it in the back of the knee. We don't want that. So keep it bent and you should feel it right in the belly of the hamstrings. Good stuff. Just try and relax the muscles when you're there as well. We're just gonna hold this for around 30 seconds. Good work. If you feel it ease off a little bit, you can take it a little bit further as well. Completely down to you. Good work, then gradually ease it off. And what we're gonna do, the foot you've got, I want you to place that foot onto your knee. Good work. And then just reach through to the leg that's on the floor and just pull it towards yourself. You should feel this in the glute. So your butt cheek of the leg that's crossed over. Good work. Exactly the same thing. If you feel it start to ease off a little bit, take it a little bit further. But do try and relax when you're there. If you can't really feel the stretch, rotate your knee outwards slightly and then that'll engage it a little bit further for you. Nicely done. And then just ease it down to the floor again. Now the leg you've got crossed over, I want you to take both arms out to the side. So flat on the floor with the arms. And then the leg that you've got crossed over, I just want you to bring it across to the opposite elbow if you can. So we've got a lumbar stretch. Try and keep your shoulders flat to the floor. If you can keep your arms down there, great. Awesome. And just let the tension go there. Again, we're gonna hold this for around 30 seconds. Good work. Work on your breathing as well. As you breathe out, just try and get a little bit lower into the stretch each time. Good stuff. Now ease it off, bring yourself back to the center again. We're just gonna reload it with the other leg this time. So back to hamstrings, but on the other side. So again, slight bend in the leg, and then pull it towards your body. You should feel it in the belly of the hamstrings. So you're gonna to want to extend your leg a little bit. Try and get your leg a little bit straight on that if you can. Yeah, good stuff. Excellent, again, 30 seconds. Trying to take it a little bit further if you can. So as the muscles cool down, this is just gonna stretch out all that connective tissue as well. Good work. And again,
again, just ease that tension off. Take that foot and place it on your other knee. Good work. And then again, reach through and pull it all into your body. So if you want to increase this stretch, try and get your shin level with the floor. So if you can get that horizontal, that's going to increase the stretch. Good stuff. And again, just use your breathing, sink into it, come a little bit lower. And then just start to ease the tension off. Again, take your arms flat to the side, and then you're taking that top knee over. Good stuff. So I should feel this in your lower back. And again, use your breathing as you breathe out, just sink a little bit lower into the stretch. Nicely done. And then from there, in a fluid movement, you're just gonna roll yourselves onto your front. And then from there we've got quads. So if you lie flat on the floor, then all we're gonna do, grab one foot, pull it into your butt. So the trick to this one isn't pulling too hard. What you wanna to do to increase the stretch is actually push your hips into the floor a little bit. So try and keep your knees together if you can. And as you push your hips, it's gonna rotate your pelvis and increase the stretch into your quad. Good stuff. And then relax, go with the other leg. And then gradually ease that off. From there, you're gonna come back onto your knees. Have you done child pose stretch before? Cool, so come back onto your knees. Hands out in front of you, Callum will show you. And then from there, upper back. Good stuff, so you're just lengthening out all that thoracic area, back of the arms, all the muscles you just used. Good work. And then just walk your hands back, bring yourself back to kneeling. Triceps, just take one arm back, grab hold of your elbow. The trick to this one is just lift your chest a couple of inches when you do it, and it'll increase the stretch. You should feel it down the back of your arms, all those push ups you've just done. Good stuff. And just ease it off, switch sides. Awesome. Ease that back off. Final stretch, just take your arms behind your back. Could do it with the palms down. And we're just gonna squeeze the shoulder blades back. If this is too easy, just lace your fingers and then go a little bit further. And just open your chest up. So again, all the push-ups you've done, all the planking, all those working muscles. Take your time and then just gradually ease the tension off. And you are done, guys, well done. Awesome effort. I don't think I've ever been at a workplace before where I was on site and being a scaffolder, you're meant to be this manly man and never show emotion. But now I'm here and I feel like I could talk to any part of the team. Anyone around the station, they're not work colleagues, they're brothers their sisters, their dads, their mums. I think having that family and their mentors like Callum, having that watch commander as that father figure, as that male role model, has definitely moulded me into the person I am now. If you are struggling, the best thing to do is reach out and speak to whoever, if that's a family or friends or helplines. But if you want to deal with it individually, for myself, physical activity, was always the best. And utilizing them emotions and putting that into something positive. So it doesn't have to be within physical activity, putting that into something positive if that's, you know, like reading a book or 
you know, making your own book, just utilizing them emotions and putting that down into something positive.